Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another new foundation launch and review. You guessed it. I know there have been so many new foundations launched recently and if you are feeling overwhelmed, you are not alone. It can be difficult to really navigate what is best for you and what is worth investing your money in. But this is one that I did not want to skip out on. It is the brand new Cicely Paris Fido Tint Ultra Eclat. It is of course the foundation that I'm wearing on my skin today. And a few things stood out to me about this launch. It is one of seven Cicely foundations. And not only is it the newest, but it is the least expensive, retailing for under $100 which may not sound that exciting, but when you compare this to the Sicilia Le Tint at 170 or the Fido Tint Expert at 137 a $95 price point really isn't that bad, dare I say reasonable, for a Sicily foundation. So let me tell you a few things about it. This foundation boosts radiance, it's oil-free, long-wearing, anti-pollution. There are 14 shades to choose from, and I chose 2 Plus Sand. It has mallow, gardenia flower extract, and buckwheat seed extract. It's a medium coverage that's buildable. The bottle itself is exceptionally beautiful, and it certainly stands out with the little zebra cap. But the first time I took a look at this bottle and I took it out of the box, my initial thoughts were that it looks very small, especially when I compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which this bottle looks huge next to this one. And of course, you know, the cap makes it look really tall and grand, but it is the same standard one fluid ounce. It's just a little pretty and petite bottle. A few things that really drew me in and piqued my interest about this foundation was not only the lower price point, which is very nice, but also the fact that it was oil-free and radiance boosting. Living in a hot and humid climate, that is right up my alley. I need something that's going to look dewy and luminous because I don't like a really flat matte finish with my foundation, but if it does have a lot of oils, it can sometimes run or get greasy or just not really last really nice throughout the day. So oil-free but radiance is something that stood out to me. And one thing that I've noticed that really sets this foundation apart from the other ones that I've chosen. Of course, there are certain things about the formula that are intended to be different. So not all of these new foundation launches are the same. They're not all for the same people. You kind of have to really listen and tune into the little details about each foundation to choose which is right. But when I wear this, when I'm talking, when I'm speaking and expressing, I don't have any settling whatsoever, which does not happen with other foundations. I'm wearing the exact same concealer. I use the Chanel Corrector with every single one of these foundations, and there's really not a lot of creasing whatsoever, which generally, a few minutes after I apply my foundation, if I'm talking and um, just going about my day, that's when I'll get a little bit of creasing that I need to make sure that I pick up the excess product. So that tells me that this foundation is incredibly forgiving and fine lines and wrinkles. So if you have more mature skin, even though this is oil free and perhaps you like something that is very hydrating, this is going to be a really great foundation for you, maybe even the best of all of the recent launches. Now let me go ahead and show you the application. You wanna begin by giving the bottle a really good shake. Not only is it recommended on the website, but right on the back of the bottle, it says shake well before use and it has a little ball inside so you can hear it rattling as you give it a shake. Do you hear that? It always makes me a little nervous to be shaking a glass bottle. So make sure you have a nice tight grip. I don't know if you can really see, but there's a light swirl inside the bottle. So you wanna do your best to really mix all of that together. Okay, that should be good enough. <laughs> I am starting with absolutely nothing on my skin. I have moisturizer that I applied maybe 20 minutes ago or so ago. And then I also have a little bit of my Sisley Eye Contour Mask. I 
absolutely love, love, love this eye product, day or night. So this is a product that you can put on your eye cream, a teeny tiny bit of this on top, and it really just locks in the moisture and makes sure that your eyes don't dry out throughout the day. Truly, you put this on in the morning and it doesn't matter how long your day is, you will still feel hydration around your eyes. It is incredible. And I know Sisley primers are really huge, but I'm going to skip out. It doesn't have one that it recommends on the website, and so I think for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to apply it to my bare skin. That way you can see what it looks like without anything underneath. And I have a fuzz. <laughs> that is driving me crazy. I can't believe I got through all of that with this giant fuzz on my face. That was itching me. Whew. Okay. I've been having a really good skin month. I think by now it's probably been a month, but you may notice there's a little something right here. I put a tiny bit of concealer there. I had almost like a hardened mineral deposit clogging one of my pores and I noticed it last night. And of course I just started, you know, scratching at it a little bit, picking at it a little bit. And before I knew I was like knuckles squeezing, trying desperately to get this little deposit out of my face. And I got it in the end, but of course now I'm paying the price because it's a little bit tender, a little bit sore. It's very red underneath and I should not have touched it. I know better, but it's one of those things when you see it and it's almost like teasing you. It's right at the surface, kind of halfway out of your face already. And you think, surely this is going to come right out and then it doesn't. It just kind of goes back in. So I have a little concealer there and I picked up the shade 2 plus and then just with my Marc Jacobs brush starting in the center of the face and blending outward Now that the foundation has set on my skin, I still see a couple of my freckles showing through. It is truly a medium coverage. It's buildable so you could stipple in specific areas that you maybe wanted to conceal a little bit more, but you're never really going to get full coverage out of this foundation. That's just not what it is intended for. So if you're somebody who needs to camouflage or you love a full coverage foundation, this may not be right for you. Even though it's dried down, you still see some radiance, which is nice because it's an oil-free formula. It doesn't feel greasy whatsoever. In fact, it feels really nice on the skin. It's one of the things that I love about it is that it still feels very light and not heavy dewy, but it's reflecting light. I mean, it definitely is radiance boosting, which is one of the claims. The smell is a little bit strong, so if you absolutely hate fragrance, you're not going to love this foundation, but it has a lot of those great active botanicals, which are really yummy things for your skin. I think that's probably a lot of what you smell. It's a little bit strong, not overpowering, as long as you don't mind fragrance. The color is probably a little bit deep for me. I like this foundation for whenever I'm sunless tanning, which I haven't in a while, so it's a little bit too dark for me now. Um, we didn't have the Tefsters made, so I just kind of blindly chose a shade. But I think it looks really pretty.
This is the finished makeup look, and I truly don't own a ton of Sisley products to complete the look, so it was sort of business as usual going forward. I used my Chanel concealer. I set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Amazing Amal lipstick on my lips, and everything else will be linked down below in the description box. But I really wanna take this time to talk about this foundation because there are a few things that really set it apart from every other foundation that I have recently reviewed. The finish gives a soft blur effect. So almost as if your skin hasn't been airbrushed and that is before I even set with a powder. So I love that it has this sort of perfecting ability, although it still is medium coverage. So it's not going to go on like a foundation mask, <laughs> like the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which is truly, really full coverage. If there was a word for more than full coverage, it would be that. So this is not going to be quite as extreme or intense on your skin. You can still see your natural skin shining through. So it's a much more natural finish. And it does have some radiance, but it never feels heavy. So when I wore this yesterday, at the end of the day, I still felt like it looked really beautiful. It maintained radiance and some glow, but it didn't feel heavy or super oily on the skin the way sometimes a full coverage foundation can just feel a little bit thick by the end of the day. So that's something that I really love. It's so forgiving with fine lines, pores. It is so soft. The finish reminds me a lot of the Guerlain actually in that it's almost like a satin finish. The color I went with, the 2 Plus, is a good color for me when I've sunless tanned. So this is not going to be a foundation that I can wear as often or at least whenever I'm more pale and I'm not tanning, but I've had this foundation on my skin for over an hour and no major changes. It doesn't have any extreme oxidizing. You're not going to have a lot of trouble finding the color. 14 shades isn't a huge range, but there are darker shades. There are a lot of lighter shades and great in between shades as well. So even though you're sort of limited, you might be able to find something in there. I've been really happy with it. It feels really nice. Like I feel like I can touch my face and nothing is gonna transfer. I do plan to do some comparison videos coming up very soon. Um, if you'd like to see wear tests, let me know if you wanna see you know, one versus another or if you'd like me to just rank them all. I'm open to everything because I know it can be a little bit confusing when there are so many new foundation launches that are just coming your way. Overall, I'm really impressed with the foundation and the Sisley Eye Contour Mask is just a must-have product. It truly is a game changer. And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything that I used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.